Um, I, I thank the chairman for, for the focus that he's given this issue this morning. And um, I am very hopeful that as a consequence of, of what has been shared today, we will have an accelerated process to identify the priorities um, in a way that the state through the AOGCC is satisfied. Um, that the BLM uh, recognizes that there is an imperative, that there is an urgency to this, because from the Alaskans' perspective, this is the absolute height of, of hypocrisy when we hold our, our private operators um, to the highest of standards and our federal government can not only reject those standards, but, uh, but literally walk away from their level of responsibility. It reflects poorly on us as a government. Um, and I think as a state, we've got an obligation to stand up, to push back, and make, make this right. I don't think it's the responsibility of the state to pick up the tab on this if the feds uh, did this. And, and so how we work it out is, is going to be critically important. And I am not one who is willing to, to uh, have to drag folks into a committee hearing on an annual basis to say, where are we? I'm still doing that with our, with our land conveyances 50 years after statehood, because that's another promise that was not kept. And the reason they say they can't do it is because we don't have the budget. You know, easy come, easy go. Um, it's not acceptable. And I think we all recognize it's not acceptable. So I will work on the appropriation side to do what I can. But I need this administration to place a priority on it, uh, to place the, 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 uh, the priority in the budget, and, um, and make good on its obligations. So I'll, I would hope that we could get a report back um, from your offices, Mr. Cribley, and working with you, Ms. Forster, uh, sometime after September, after you have advanced a schedule. Um, but I think we need uh, a game plan on this, um, because up to this point in time, it's been absolutely uh, insufficient, inadequate, and an embarrassment to the federal government. So with that, I thank you again, all of you, for uh, making the flight back. And uh, we'll see you back in Alaska. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.